Get up, come on. Follow mate. Still don't understand why they didn't have a full round. But those were the load. There was only 98 of those. <laughs> so apparently, this is a narrow road. This is not a narrow road. Like, the mirrors are not in the trees. Yeah, yeah, all right. I, I, I probably, I did compare the UK roads, yeah, this is, this is not narrow. Oh, this is a really wide oh, yeah, road. I made that Look how wide it is. <laughs> right, apparently this section here is going to be my narrow. So I'm going to show you guys with me. Ready? Well, surely, surely it's got to be, you, this, this section is going to be UK narrow. I 
I mean, in starters, he doesn't have any hedges. So the mirrors aren't in the hedge. This bit? Yeah. Well, you do have an extra trailer on. <laughs> oh, that tree makes you cringe all the time. I mean, in our standards, it wouldn't be very tight, but in your standards, it would be because I've got an you've got the extra trailer on. We don't get that. Like, even in a lorry and drag, that wouldn't be very tight. Yeah, but you got to remember, B-double, right folks, listen, so B-double does cut in quite a bit uh, when uh, coming into places. Um, if you got your conventional pocket train, which is a small road train. I was going to say they won't know what a pocket train is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. A little with pocket. All right, folks. <laughs> folks, a, a little road, a pocket, a pocket road train is just a little road train, uh, uh, and and they get into properties a lot, lot easier because you got two more turning points with your with your drawbar, your dolly, and your um, and your turn table on the dolly. But they are a lot, in, lot harder to back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at our second farm. Well, second pickup, same farmer. I don't think I'd be able to back one of these, especially with three trailers. So we are loaded. Um, look, we, they don't have mud over here. They have dust. <laughs> So in um, England, our straight roads always always have a bend for no apparent reason whatsoever. In Australia, it's literally dead straight. Dead um, straight for miles. Until like the eye can see, literally dead straight. Why can't English roads be like that? Instead, we follow sheep tracks. <laughs> also, on these very straight roads, we don't get any potholes like we do. <laughs> Don't say that. There have been plenty of straight roads that have had giant potholes in it that make you hit, your, hit your head on the roof. Not like England though. We get like craters like the moon. Really? Yeah, we get like massive craters um, like on the moon. Okay. <laughs>
they use dogs here to get them out, which is probably a lot easier to be honest. Um, so that's what all the barking is. There's, I don't know, see there's his tail. But I still don't understand the hard door sort of thing. I didn't know they had rams. They do. But um, yeah. The other sheep have gone. This is how big their field is. It's just a crop field. But it's massive. And they have wire gates. Like not normal gates, they just have a wire gates. So we are at our next pick up. And the um, thing is, with like farms like farms out here, it's like they've got massive open spaces and a few sheds. I'm guessing that's obviously to get like feed up in and throw the trees in. So this is a shearing shed. So we're loading them out of the shearing shed and straight out to the lorry. So every farmer that has sheep has a shearing shed. So it's all indoors. I don't really know how it works. But obviously we've got the pens for each section. Four sections. talking um but we are at our destination to unload these so i'm gonna love you guys and leave you here don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye for more becky down under